avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2023 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Fairplex Pomona. Free admission. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Get ready for the back-to-school season at Living Spaces, where our kids' and teens' collections earn an A-plus for style, comfort, and function. From beds that reach great heights of potential to desks that inspire productivity and creativity, there are plenty of pieces that add quality and character anywhere. Space-saving storage also helps keep things organized, leaving more room for fun. Enjoy free shipping as soon as next day, so you can make dreams come true. Their perfect retreat awaits only at Living Spaces. After I was injured by a truck driver, I had high medical bills and a ton of worries. If you've been in an accident and suffered a serious injury, you need to get an attorney that will help you get what you deserve. BDNJ got a $28 million settlement for me. Call BDNJ. Breaking right now at three, Manson family member Leslie Van Houten has been released from prison after serving more than 50 years for murder. How she finally got parole. Then extreme heat may tempt you to leave the window open at night, but we'll show you why the chief of the LAPD is warning women to keep them closed. Plus a neighborhood on edge after a 15-foot pet python slipped out of her cage. The search to find... Uh, served 53 years for her participation in two infamous murders. Now in her 70s, a cult follower got a life sentence for helping Manson's followers carry out the 1969 stabbing deaths of Leno and Rosemary LaBianca. Her attorney says Van Houten was released from a prison in Corona early this morning and driven to transitional housing. We spoke to her just a short while ago about her new living situation. They will teach her how to transition into life in 2023 when you uh, went into prison at 19 in 1969. It's a very different world. So she has to learn how to use the Internet. She has to learn how to drive a car again. She has to learn how to how to buy things without cash. Just just all of those daily tasks that have changed so much in the past 50 years. Van Houten's release comes days after Governor Newsom announced he would not fight a state appeals court ruling to finally release her. In a statement today, his office says a governor is disappointed by the Court of Appeals decision to release her. And developing right now at three, the Los Angeles deputy who slammed a woman to the ground in Lancaster has been reassigned. That's according to the L.A. Sheriff's Department. You may remember seeing this video from the encounter June 24th when deputies were responding to a report of a robbery at the Winco. It's now part of a use of force investigation. No word yet on the deputy's new assignment. Turning now to the extreme heat and a warning to keep your windows locked at night. This comes after a series of attacks on women in the valley. A man was arrested after being accused of attacking at least three women inside their apartments along Van Owen Street in Reseda in the early morning hours of July 1st. The youngest victim was just nine years old. The oldest was 55. Today, LAPD Chief Michael Moore said the man entered their apartments by prying off the screen's of open windows. One resident told us his mother heard the screaming. I think it's pretty scary, you know, sleeping one day and then the same night thinking this place is safe and then your nine year olds in danger. I think it's really scary. So police use fingerprints to track down the suspect and arrest him in a nearby homeless encampment. He's 31 year old Mario Orozco. We're showing you his mugshot because police think there may be more victims out there who could recognize him. They say Orozco has and Everywhere in between, an excessive heat watch goes into effect tomorrow morning for much of Southern California. NBC4's Tony Shin is dedicated to covering stories that impact the Inland Empire, and he joins us live from Lake Elsinore with the extreme heat. Tony, how hot is it over there? <laughs> Annabelle, I can't even explain it to you. I will tell you this. It is incredibly hot out here, and that is why we're in Lake Elsinore, because, well, there's a lake here, and this is a great place to cool off. Whether you are outside or inside, we are all...